Then a kind of crazy morning today, so this first video I'm going to do a quick update on two states. One is terrible news, the other was good news, but it is immediately switched to bad news. But everybody needs to be aware of it because it's coming to a theater near you. First, let's start out in Colorado. Yesterday, Sunday, the Colorado uh, House, State House of Representatives passed the assault weapon ban. Uh, I've been putting it all over my socials. Uh, it's now going to the state senate. Will it pass the state senate? I don't know. But I know that uh, Rocky Mountain Gun Owners has vowed to continue fighting in the Senate. They're going to get on the governor if the Senate passes it. They're going to go after the governor if he passes it. And they're also going to fight it and sue as well if it passes into law. So uh, get on your Colorado state senators. I'll have a link down below to figure out who yours is. Or if you want to call from another state to educate these piss poor legislators, on the United States Constitution. Apparently they, they don't know what it is. That's the first one. And uh, before I jump into the second one, which will probably make your head spin too, I want to thank Sonoran Desert Institute. With more than 350 million firearms in the United States, Colorado, you're listening? The time has never been better to learn how to be a gunsmith. SDI offers online firearms technology education with hands-on labs and materials shipped right to your door. From armorers courses to shooting sports management and much, much more, get your education and turn your passion for firearms into a successful career. Visit sdi.edu slash gng to learn more. Link is down below and in the pinned comment. Thanks to SDI for sponsoring the video and the, being a friend of the channel. All right, let's jump into the second state. This is Washington, the state of Washington. We had some great news on April 8th uh, last week where a, uh, I always say this wrong, Cowlitz, C-O-W-L-I-T-Z, a Cowlitz County Superior Court judge ruled that their magazine ban, which was put into effect in 2022, is, guess what? Unconstitutional. Yeah, duh. We know that. But this judge took a stand and shot the, the law down as unenforceable because it is unconstitutional. However, the Attorney General's office and the powers that be immediately sought an emergency stay from the Washington State Supreme Court, which of course they issued. So what does that mean? Uh, and they did that within three hours of this judge saying it's unconstitutional. So you, you had a freedom three hours. Oh, these states, they drive me nuts. So it is still illegal in Washington to have a standard capacity magazine. All this stuff is churning, guys and gals. I know it sucks to hear that Washington, but we have some cases going through the system that are going to get to the Supreme Court. The, the closest is the one in California. They're going to get to the Supreme Court. They're going to lose, all these states are going to lose these cases based off of four key components. One is called the Heller decision. Just happened to be friends with Dick Heller, who is a hero. He made the Supreme Court decide a case which said hey, the Second Amendment is an individual right. The second big factor is the Chicago versus McDonald case. That case, the Supreme Court said, what are we doing here? The Second Amendment, uh, it's, it's applied to the states. You, the states, it, it is an individual right, folks, okay? The third one is Caetano versus Massachusetts. That case was a nine to nothing unanimous decision by the US Supreme Court, which said the Massachusetts ban on stun guns was unconstitutional and illegal and they also said in there that there were 200,000 stun gun owners in the country and they considered that they can believe it or not they considered 200,000 to be in common use so what does that tell you about the millions of standard capacity magazines uh, actually it's close to a billion I just did a video on it I'll pin it above uh, thanks to uh, NAGR and NSSF uh, for the Colorado case there's a, there's a, a ton of them out there, so it's common use. Uh, so, Caetano versus Massachusetts, a great case to read as well. And then, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, which said everything that these other decisions said, but then it said, you know what? The only way that uh, a, a state, I'm paraphrasing, a state can keep their unconstitutional gun control is if, well, I guess keep their gun control, is if they can prove 
that it is consistent with this nation's text, which is the Second Amendment, and the history and tradition of firearm regulation. And there's not one single magazine ban going back to 1791 when the Second Amendment was adopted and ratified. None. There's no assault weapon ban. Colorado. There is none of this craziness that we've been dealing with the last 50 years. This is all recent stuff, and it's all unconstitutional. And the left is... They're worried. They're very worried, the uh, anti-gunners, because there's some on the right, too. But I wanted to get this to you, and I also wanted to tell you that the, the Attorney General, Bob Ferguson, in Washington has said he vowed that he will fight this in order to keep this uh, magazine ban on the books. In fact, here was his quote when the magazine ban was ruled unconstitutional. He said, every court in Washington and across the country to consider challenges to a ban on the sale of high capacity magazines under the US or Washington Constitution has either rejected that challenge or been overruled. This law is constitutional. It is also essential to addressing mass shootings in our communities. This law saves lives and I will continue to defend it. It doesn't save lives, it's bullshit. It does nothing to stop criminals the Attorney General's job is to stop criminals by keeping them in jail and not giving them slaps on the wrist. It's word salad. Don't eat it. Guys and gals, subscribe to this channel if you want more information on the Second Amendment. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for uh, being here every day, and uh, I appreciate you. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun. You are your own first responder in your life, your children's lives, your wife's life, your, your mom's life might depend on it. So. Be that sentinel, y'all. Take care.